how to go from a photo that's completely messed up by a red color cast to a neutral photo. I'm going to help you with a, just a 5 minute fix to get your red color cast photo back to normal and save your photo. Let's dive into the computer. So right now we're in my computer in Lightroom and especially for this tutorial I've made a photo of myself using two non-light puffo tubes. I put them on like a red orangey uh, tint. Aim them straight in my face, didn't use any other lights than this. Show you guys that it's it's really red, so I can't really do anything with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm, first I'm going to make a virtual copy of it, like this. Now the first thing I always do is go to the white balance picker. Try to make a version of the white balance that the computer thinks is alright. Um, well, I think it's pretty close. I'm going to put it right here. So this is the best solution I've got right now with the color balance. So because it's a portrait, I'm going to pull up those. Okay, this is there's something blue in the photo. I don't know what it is, but it was fully red when I shot this photo. It doesn't matter because it's about the skin tones. A um, little bit of texture in it. Like this also. Let's pop it up. So to make it more interesting uh, as a portrait so um what are we going to do we're going to use the, the the tone curves the opposite color of red is like the green bluish and if you see that if i pull it the skin becomes better instantly so when you do this hold your option key on your mac or control on windows so you can make it you can pull it really hard it doesn't go that fast and then you go to the skin tone you like to have because i like to have a little bit more like a brownish sun kissed tan on my skin so that's why i'm good what i'm going for and it's already almost great the photo so then i go to the calibration that's right here um oh i'm gonna pump it up why not like this and then i'm gonna pump this up also to give it a little bit more punch like this almost never use a color grader and the, the the color mixer like here because in this case i'm only going to use the color grading um i'm going to use like this like, do it like this also you can use the option key and then pull it this way but it was already on i just excuse me guys but you could also like this. So also with with the with the contrasting color because it was magenta and we want to go opposite. So we want to go here. We want to go to the opposite color of magenta. So this magenta. So we want to go that way. Um. Oh, sorry, red. But we want to go opposite color of red. So this way. That's very important, especially also here, opposite color. So here we go, opposite color. I know a lot of opposite colors just to make it better. So to show off that the lights are actually red i can make a subject selection mask invert it and then go to red and go not opposite but go go to the reds just to show you guys that the lights are red like this so i could fix all the other calling colors going on if i want to do really well i'm gonna I, i'm going to uh, a great detail to make with mask and make everything really perfect but it's about a, f a fast solution and of course you can make mask and make it better if you like um, but it's about that first solution we talked about um, if you want to see more of my uh, problem solving solutions on color casting other lightroom problems i'm a photographer that does it in a photography way i'm not a professional color grader i just do stuff because i learned it myself after so many years uh, so i speak more the language of a photographer than a colorist i just do what more um like i feel it is the best way and i think a lot of photographers work that way and aren't professional colorists or something like that if you want to see more of my work go to my instagram there's a lot of stuff going on there or check out my channel give a like thumbs up i don't know how you call it and hope to see you next time bye bye <laughs>